Hey, so another project to go over. This is a lot more simpler. There's no problem to solve or anything that, like that. This is just a big challenge uh, that I wanted to do. Uh, big challenge, small challenge. Uh, depends on how you look at it. This is a Trello clone. Uh, Trello is a sort of like a to-do list, but a little bit more than that. Uh, you can create a board and within a, one board, it's like a, making a whiteboard and then uh, on that whiteboard you can make several lists and on the lists you have individual things that you can place on it and um, I saw another clone that was pretty neat it had it was based on react and redux which is what uh, I specialize in and um, I thought it'd be a good a good challenge to try and replicate that but maybe go a, another step further than what they did um, they went with uh, local storage so using the browser's local storage they saved the boards and um, lists that the user creates which is nice it's a really sim uh, simple for the user they don't have to log in or anything like that uh, but I went uh, a different route I went with uh, authentication again um, because I, I really like working with it but I also want to use that later on with another bigger project so um, that was the entry point and the goal was to practice working with nested JSON objects uh, especially in Redux because in Redux you want to immutably um, change the the state of the store so uh, you don't want to directly change an object or an array you want to make a copy of that entire object and then make the change you need to the copy and then use the copy to update the store. If you don't know what that means, that's fine. <laughs> it was, it's, it's, it's just a Redux thing uh, with um, these more progressive apps that you build. But anyways, uh, enough talk. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. I don't need to go on for 10 minutes like the other two videos. Um, you can log in or create an account. If you've uh, seen my other videos, they're pretty similar, right? So sign up to use it. Already have an account. You can click the login button. It changes the elements to show um, the correct stuff, and we'll just log in this time. So test test.com and test one two. Log me in, and there we go. We've got our um, panel to create a new board. We've got two boards that are already created. Uh, we can log out as well up here, and. Um, yeah, let's just create a board just to see it. So we'll just call it new board. You can hit enter or press the create button. Um, I can push that update. Okay. And there's our new board. We'll click on the new board. Here we are with a another panel to create a list. So we'll just call it list one. And there's our list one. And then let's just have a list two. And then we'll go to our list, and in this input field, we'll just put, you know, like to do things. So, uh, uh, practice React, practice Redux. And as you can see, the UI is a little weird. Practice Flexbox. And uh, yeah, that's so that's a couple items. And as these boards and lists are being made. They're being sent up to the uh, the database on Firebase. So let's just before I go any further, I'm just going to log out. Uh, let's go back to logging in. All the database, uh, all the uh, boards on the database and lists are associated with the user in real time. And so if I log out, they're there. As long as I log back in, uh, I can get back to them. And same with um, checking off items on the list. So if I wanted to click here and say, I've done enough React practice, I haven't. Well, even if I had, it's still fun to practice. Um, same with Redux and Flexbox. All those changes are changed on the database as well. So um, the UI just has an update um, in, the in the Redux store. Yeah, and that's how it works. And also if I wanted to delete, I can delete this list item that one as well if I wanted to get rid of this list I don't need that at all um, go back I can delete the whole board it's gone and yeah that's that's the whole thing in a nutshell that's 
it's it sounds simple, I guess, compared to the other ones. But uh, what I had to do was not exactly simple. Um, lots of consideration to how I update the information on on the database and how I update the state in Redux. A lot of filtering, a lot of uh, mapping and stuff like that. So like these items here. Um, yeah, it, but it was a good uh, it was a good practice for me. I really like Redux and how you can work with it. And I think I'll be using this pretty soon in another application. That's it, yeah.